Welcome to Straight Facts News Media. Today in the news, police are investigating the murder of 29-year-old man in Silent Hill near Christiana on Saturday. Police named the deceased as Berhan Thompson, a resident of Silent Hill. A report from the Police Constabulary Communication Unit said that about 9 a.m., Thompson was standing along a roadway in his community when he was attacked by a man armed with handguns. The gunman opened fire hitting Thompson. The police were alerted and Thompson was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. An Ananda alert has been activated for 14-year-old Andre Shedden of Windsor Avenue in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, who has been missing since Thursday, March 3rd. He is of dark complexion, slim built, and about 4 feet 6 inches tall. Reports from the Spanish Town police are that about 2 p.m., Andre was last seen at home wearing a blue shirt, black short jeans, and a pair of yellow slippers he has not been heard from since anyone knowing the whereabouts of andre shedden is being asked to contact the spanish town police at 984-2305 the police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station a father pleads for help with his son who suffers from cerebral palsy. Dennis Williams, who is of a Paradise Narwood address in Montego Bay, shared how he became a single father. Hear what he has to say. Hello people. My name is Dennis Williams. I come from Paradise Narwood. I'm a little youth. This one. Dave and Dave. I'm born with brain damage from 2012. See? I've been in my life, I go and do a thing, make sure it's alright, as you can see. But you know, alright. I'm going to eat up on my And things get rough. So I turn a single father um, November 11. I work a whole of 2020. See? I work a whole of 2020. I talk to his mother and say, Watch out, we do a week on and a week after him. Talk to his mother, say, When I get to work, I want to jump on the work. she been working, so she has more access to me. You know, when you come on to new work, a problem. You see me? So I can't miss work and late for work. Everybody work, anybody can check my background. Me's a working man, I never stop. Right now, I'm currently at work. But I need some help, advice, any little thing I can get right now. If you just have this amount, I get a little better life, isn't it? Because she run off, as in like, can I go to court, we go to counseling, and just talk one, like, say she's sick, and the lady say, yo, because she say, now go fear away. So, she talk like she's sick and beating, and just run out of the courthouse. Left me with it for November 11. Mind you, I don't say nothing. I keep him, because I have been of him. You see me? Take care of him, do what I do, go to work. But right now, look at him, two more things I do right now. I can't facilitate him and I can't help him up on certain levels. I want some, I beg some help. To just try to get him, as we say, a better life where he can even get some mobility or something. Anybody have advice, anything, or can donate any little thing, any, any little help I can get right now. Because three months now, I have him, man by myself and it's very stressful. I mean I want to put him in no homes. Never been me never want even if you have a babysitter even cause people always do things to some people when we did further. And me get me get a little talking to 
and you see how you need to go out there you know. so try to get somebody to keep him so I just try get somebody where we can keep him but basically the majority of my people go to shit and him so I have nothing necessary to buy her and like a wheelchair or and like a bed and then like a way there isn't it for him so I just ask someone for like a help see you in a different day I came to his mother um, two days ago, after the whole time. I came to him because I complained and go to my sister and say, oh, he rang and he, he back so he run out and he want to see him. So I came to him and I know what I do. He used police came back and give me yesterday. And the policeman, he looked upon him and he said, anyhow, me come back. I said, I will keep him. Anyhow, I come back. He then he come back for papers, for chemical court, for the one bag of process. This I mean, want to this have a impact him because if he my bunks from home to home and she seems like she don't want him she go there and tell the people and say oh she want to kill him and feel to kill himself and mind you she have him like two weeks out of a month see and with the week and a week off this week me have him the next week she have him and you really because me tell her say oh, watch i'm gonna go get a little help if you can go and watch him so you can work fully and me can work fully you go have to say you already go came to court and then now when we go to court and I explain myself and uh, you explain yourself then I say no logic out of what you are saying no logic out of anything what you do so you pretend sick and the lady say hold him the king got about you and I say already she not come back enough and she did run out this is the woman born in the world and never deserved this right now he can't see as, as much as he can't see he can't see him blind he can't talk and he can't walk I have to do everything for him everything Everything. So everybody know my face in a mobile and everybody know my face. So boys, uh, boys they are reds anyway. But you can ask me tired. I'm tired. I may push hard, may I get up and go work every day and thing and thing. But this is my more right now I calm is the same. Anytime in the room I'm calm. But you have any little seizures them and any thing them where kinda just make me fret at night time, I can't sleep. And what I'm coming in, I'm going to at night. I come in and do them, I can't sleep and not say you oh, he's not set good. But to me see the mother don't want him. And enough people say I don't mind him, but I don't have business with that. I don't want to cause nobody to put on this mode. I don't have business with that. I just want to know that he can't good. So I just want to ask you to help. If he, anywhere, any farm, information where I can go, to try to help him more on certain levels. Because he might be eight and I'll go on nine. October coming. So he might get big. We just want to make sure say him good. As long as him good, me good. So I'm just ask. Please. Anybody can just anything. Any information, any you know, any help we can get right now. If we just better him. Me alright. Me once him good, me good. And just me and him. Well, there you have the Devante Williams story. If you wish to help young Devante, please contact his father, Dennis Williams, on the information that is shared on the screen. He also has a Facebook account at Devante Williams, and also his contact number is on the screen. Reach out to him and show him some love in any way you can contribute please do so thanks for watching straight facts news media remember to like share and comment down below in the comment section Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when Straight Facts post another video. Straight Facts News Media.